Hi, in this video, I would like to share about the ID controller. The ID controller is one of a conventional controller which can be found in many industry. Let us assume one example. Here we have a liquid level control system which consists of a tank. The function of the tank, the function of this liquid level control system is we have to maintain the liquid level in this tank at a certain desired position. The desired position or a desired level is what we call as a set point. For example, for full tank, we can say that the desired set point is 100%. For half tank, we can say that the desired level is 50% or if we want to empty the tank, we can say that the desired level is 0% or we can have liquid level at any level from this particular tank. Later in this video, I will, I will also demonstrate the PID controller application using factory I.O. Looking at this example, here we have the, the level transmitter which function as the measurement for this particular control system. And I think uh, it will be more useful if I explain the PID controller in terms of a control block diagram. A control block diagram is a common representation of control system. For this particular liquid level control system, we can say that we're going to design this a control system as a closed loop control system. What does it mean by closed loop control system? A closed loop control system is the behavior of the output is basically depending on the measurement or depending on the feedback. The set point is basically the liquid level, uh, liquid level position, which fit into the PID controller. And if here we employ a PID controller as our controller. The output of the PID controller is connected to the final control element. In this case, the final control element is our uh, control valve. And we say that this control valve is filling valve. This particular filling valve will be regulated in terms of the percentage of the opening. For example, if the liquid level in this tank is uh, 0% and the set point is, for example, is 100%, the PID controller will instruct filling valve to open to 100% so that it will allow the liquid to quickly fill into the tank. And after a certain time, maybe after a certain uh, couple of minutes, when the liquid level reach 100%, then the PID controller will instruct the final control element to close the control valve so that the liquid level is maintained at 100%. And the observation is done by the level transmitter using the measurement. This particular level transmitter will um, fit the error of measurement between the set point and this particular measurement. So the PID controller will calculate the gain based on the error. In this video demonstration, I'm using a tear portal as well as uh, the factory I.O. So in the factory I.O., I have the liquid level uh, with a tank. Here is the our uh, fill valve and this one is basically the drain valve. Um, so then we have the level meter here. Okay, so I'm going to talk all the relevant tech. So we are interested on the fill valve. We are interested on the level meter. And then we are interested in the side point as well. We are not interested in stop bike. Stop bike, we don't interested on that one. So fill valve, level meter. Uh, PV 
set point and this one is the SP I think we also not interested on this one okay so we only interested on the fill valve which is this one okay the function of fill valve it will allow the liquid to get into this tank so that we can have the variation of the level from the tank then we have the level meter uh, level meter to provide the feedback to the controller and then we have the PV PV is basically from the level meter itself so I think we are not interested in PV just leave a level meter alone and set point okay so we have one two three set point as the input fill valve as the final control element and level meter as the feedback okay so tail portal is already connected with the factory IO and at this time I'm using uh, PLC using CPU 1500 so this is our uh, switch board so just want to zoom and show to you about the switch board um, so we have set point knob here so here I can change the set point change the set point and the set point will show here so on the tier portal we have the um, a plot which will which will show the trending of the uh, liquid level tank so here we have the set point okay set point is basically related to this knob okay for example let's say we have we, maybe after this i'm going to uh, set certain uh, desired level the scale input is basically the uh, the measurement the the level transmitter uh, level transmitter and the output is basically the behavior of the uh, field buff so i'm going to change the set point now let change maybe about um, in the range of about 200 meter for example so i'm going to change about 223 meter you can see from the tear portal window, we can see that the black line is a set point. The black line is a set point. So, and then the red line is the control valve. You can see that this control valve is fully open. So this control valve is 100% open and PV which is the level measurement the green line here you can see that this green line is increasing until it reach uh, 223 223 see as soon as the PV approaching 223 which is a set point the output which is a fill valve will quickly close so we're going to zoom into the fill valve so now the fill valve is trying to close so now the fill valve is about 50% okay reducing about 50% and trying to close and then maintain its position more or less at um, percent this one maybe about 65 percent more or less okay so we can see that the level can be maintained at about the set point okay um, so I'm going to zoom at the switch port so the set point is 223 and this one is the level uh, measurement 222 so we have about uh, one uh, one centimeter error so now it's good okay just one centimeter error so now it's 224 
you can see the, the behavior of the control valve when it is above the set point so the control valve will slightly reduce the opening okay slightly reduce the opening and when it maintain means that the PV is equal to set point so it try to maintain a certain position at a certain opening percentage of opening okay so this one is a I would say a good example of or a good uh, PID controller response And this particular PID controller has been tuned properly using uh, automatic tuning method and automatic tuning features in TR Portal. So if you look at, I think this is the PID controller using a ladder diagram. And if we go to uh, the, the PID parameter, so we have this proportional gain uh, is equal to 3.29 the integral action time is equal to 8.5 second Der derivative action time is equal to 2.149 second um, and derivative delay coefficient is equal to 0 0.1 proportional action reading is equal to 0 0.268 derivative action reading is equal to 0 and the sampling time of the PID algorithm is equal to 1.000002 second. We can also change it to PI controller, PI structure, but uh, in this particular example, I just want to show you, I just want to demonstrate to you how can we use the full features of the, the PID controller. Maybe in the next video, I'm going also going to show you how can we manually, manually tune the proportional gain, integral action time, as well as the derivative, derivative action time. But for um, TR portal, uh, the tuning is done automatically okay, using this one, a pre-tuning method. And I already make it into the fine tuning. And using the fine tuning, I, um, the system uh, automatically calculate and automatically provide to user this particular uh, the PID gain, sorry, the proportional gain, integral action time, and derivative action time. Thank you.